Hey everybody, this is Captain Kyle. I'm here with a special Transformer-ish review. I'm looking at a third-party Devastator, often known as Hulker and Robot Force, and it looks pretty cool. So today I am joined by my cat, Skye, who has decided that right in front of me is the perfect place for her to groom herself. Now I missed out on a lot of the new Transformers that came out with Combiner Wars, especially the Constructicons, and trying to get them now, rather expensive. So I found a set online that was very similar to the Constructicons, looked like the Constructicons, but wasn't exactly like the toys I'd missed out on. But it was 24 bucks plus $16 shipping, and I figured, what the heck? And I wanted to show it to you guys in case some of you missed out, and you might consider this as an alternative. So the boxes are all numbered one through six. And so what I'm gonna do is I'll open them up in order, check out the robot modes, check out the quality, check out the vehicle modes, and then we'll merge them into Pseudo Devastator. Now these guys have some rather strange names. So I'm just gonna call them by their G1 names as if they're actually official Transformers. Number one on our list is their version of Bone Crusher. The box art is pretty impressive with uh, a cartoonish version of the character. Pictures on the back showing the other Constructicons and even showing his piece into the huge robot known as Devastator. So let's get this open. Inside the package you have the figure. He's actually tied in just like a lot of the Hasbro ones nowadays. Comes with instructions which are actually pretty detailed. I don't know that I'm going to use the instructions. They look pretty simple. And actually, Bone Crusher was the first real Constructicon I got years and years ago. And I always thought he was the best of them as far as robot mode. He comes with a fist. And there he is in robot mode outside of the package. Now, I'm noticing he can stand pretty well. He does have a weapon. He does not have a Decepticon symbol. He has a silver shield, where I guess you could put a Decepticon symbol. Though the shape of it, you probably have to put a small one. The gun... Not exactly the same one I remember from G1. The figure feels pretty substantial. He's got a good amount of posability in the shoulder. He can bend at the elbow. His knees bend. He's got some hip movement. So definitely a lot more posable than the original figure. Let's figure out his transformation. It looks, as I said, pretty simple. So there he is in bulldozer mode. Pretty simplistic vehicle mode. You could kind of put his gun on it, but really... How many bulldozers do you see going around with huge guns on them? Still overall, not bad in either mode. Number two is their version of Mixmaster. And instead of a fist, he actually comes with Devastator's gun. As I recall, the original Mixmaster also came with Devastator's gun, which you could stick on him in vehicle mode. So there's the huge gun for Devastator for later. And there's Mixmaster. He doesn't appear to have any toes, but then again, neither did really the original. At least this one has two legs. Again, a purple gun. And let's check out his vehicle mode. So yes, the transformations are pretty simplistic, but at the same time, they're pretty elegant in the way they look. Apparently, Sky likes Mixmaster too. Number three is Long Haul. And I know he didn't join this outfit to be no dump truck. So again, there it is in the packaging. And there he is in robot mode. Probably wondering why a ginormous cat is next to him. No, no, no fighting Decepticons. You would think having a cat on the table would stop me from making videos, but no. With some maneuvering, we have Long Haul as a dump truck. I have to say that even though these are not the same molds as the Hasbro ones, they are pretty clever. Next we have Scrapper, who is the leader, which is interesting because most combiner groups, the leader makes the main body, where he's the right foot. Here he is in his packaging. Yes, yeah, Scrapper always seemed to be the leader where you would think that Hook, who makes up the head, would actually be the leader. So there he is in robot mode. Yes, his head should probably be black, but still the face looks very much like Scrapper on the cartoon. Let's see what we can do to transform him. Pretty solid as a vehicle. There is this whole area from the transformation on the side, which I'm not thrilled about, but overall, he looks like a construction vehicle that nobody ordered to show up at their construction site. Of course, nobody orders the Constructicons anywhere, except Megatron. 
Blitzwing. Number five, Scavenger. Now up until this point, most of the Constructicons looked very similar to the G1 versions. As far as their transformation, where their shovels were, or in Mixmaster's case, where his barrel is. But it looks like Scavenger is a bit different. He comes with one of Devastator's fists. We'll put that over here. And those who are familiar with Scavenger know that he's got his shovel coming off the back. This actually looks like a better design. May not be G1 accurate, but it's still not as obvious what he changes into. Well, unless you look closely at his chest. All right, transformation here looks pretty simple, quick, and easy. He's got his power shovel and it can actually turn on the top here. And finally, we have Hook. Now what's interesting about this is he actually appears to have two guns. Well, I say appears to have, he does have two guns. I don't know why out of all the Constructicons or Robot Force, they gave him two guns, but he indeed has them. Say hello to my little friends. Yeah, that's not how he sounds. No one would follow an uncharismatic boy like you. That's a little better. So I can see on his back here, Devastator's face is hidden. So let's take his two weapons off and get him into vehicle mode. It's pretty intuitive how to transform this guy, but pretty clever. However, you can, if you lift up the hook, the Devastator's face right there. And unlike the G1 version, the hook does not extend, but still not bad. When you consider six Constructicons at $24 plus $16 shipping, that's like 633 a Constructicon. I think it's worth 633. This is the lineup. And it actually kind of is in scale. I'm not sure. Honestly, I don't work with construction vehicles in my regular job, so I'm not sure. However, I am sure that I want to see this next thing. Devastator. Devastator. Overall, a pretty solid piece. Stays together better than the original. Bone Crusher, despite being my favorite, always had a tendency to fall off. It's got posability. Even has some give in the knees, so you can pose him walking. He could sidekick uh, good old Grimlock right out of the air. So overall, for the money, 40 bucks. And since I didn't end up getting the Hasbro version when it came out and finding it at a reasonable price has been difficult. I definitely recommend it because nothing can stop Devastator. Well, except a giant hologram and a well-placed shot and uh, Optimus Prime's arm with a gun in it. Bruticus, well, four Dinobots or one? It's really Slag who took him out. And then, you know, one shot from Perceptor. I guess a lot of things can... Uh, defeat Devastator, but he's still cool. Now there's a couple places where you can get this. I'll put a link down in the description where you can purchase this if you're interested. Hope you enjoyed this review. As always, have fun and follow your fandom.